1854, an enslaved infant named Rachel was brought to an auction block in the center of town. An enslaved man that was in his middle ages took her to this auction block. Rachel was about one years old and she was for sale. When the enslaved man took Rachel to be sold at noon, which was the time of day that most enslaved people were sold on the courthouse steps in the center of town, a visitor from the north, a minister by the name of Nehemiah Adams, who happened to be visiting the south, witnessed this scene and was puzzled by what he saw. Nehemiah Adams walked up to the enslaved man and asked him what he was doing there. And he said, Master, she is here to be sold. He asked the enslaved man, where are her parents? Did they know their daughter was being sold? Where is her mother? Was she still nursing? Adams also asked the gentleman, how do you feel about this? And he said, I'm just following the master's orders. He actually decided not to stick around for the sale because he couldn't witness this horrific event. So he left. He later found out that that afternoon, little Rachel was sold for $140. Rachel's story is not unusual. When we look at the history of slavery, we've learned recently that enslaved children were often separated from their parents at very young ages. From infancy to adolescence, enslaved children were taken from their parents and sold for their owners to make profit. Rachel was being sold that day because her enslaver had a debt, but he had brokered the deal to sell her before she was born. So before she was even brought into this world, there, were, there was a deal that was made that was bartered on her life. Parents had to teach their children that they were both people and commodities. By the age of five, most enslaved children understood that they were considered a piece of property by their enslavers, although they were children who had loving parents and family members who valued them for their personhood as well. But they had to be prepared because their parents knew that they could be taken from them like Rachel was taken from her mother. So as Rachel aged, particularly young girls had to worry about their valuation changing around the time when they were able to give birth. Why is that important? Because giving birth meant that their enslavers were gaining an extra laborer without having to purchase them. Particularly between the ages of 18 and 24 years of age, that was when she probably had the highest value. Her offspring, if she gave birth to children, would bring value to a plantation community. Her owner would not have to go out and purchase somebody because Rachel's babies would then be raised to also be enslaved, just like Rachel. But this story is really significant for us to understand slavery and to understand the institution from the perspective of profits. Enslaved people of all ages represented a monetary value. They utilized these enslaved bodies to settle debts, to cover mortgages, to serve as deeds for gifts. So enslaved people, enslaved children, enslaved infants, just like Rachel, were sold to settle other people's business. 